ladies and gentlemen, Gungans and droids across the galaxy. It is great to be in our empire today, and we had a fantastic stream the other day. Thank you guys so much for coming out. In case you missed the card in the top right hand corner, but what I want to do is I want to show you the power of Moff Gideon in some of the first PVE testing I've done so far with all my testing of Moff Gideon. It's been more PvP, Grand Arena, arena focused base. However, during our stream yesterday, we decided to give a little bit of a spin inside of forest moon challenge tier three of assault battles and we just absolutely mowed down the whole entire challenge tier three we're gonna roll the footage in a moment but really moff gideon uh being able to eventually reset terminator on both sides of the field and give you that boost of terminator to help you control those situations i should say where the other team has so much preloaded term meter in these challengers it's just preloaded up the wazoo since mothkin is the fastest non-galactic legends characters in star wars galaxy heroes he is able to help quickly kind of bring the situation back under your control and then once he applies demoralize the high damage on the opposing teams as well that you're going to face in the various waves they just barely tickle you if they even get the chance to try to get an attack going plus moff getting has a second mass assist to pair along with general veers as mass assist and range troopers constant attacks out of turn if you want to make imperial troopers show their full magic and potential you need that general veer zeta on aggressive tactician and especially for this event Admiral Piet's Emperor's Trap is another fantastic Zeta to invest in. I almost call it the second mandatory Zeta for Imperial Troopers. You cannot go wrong with this, and you are going to see the power of Emperor's Trap. We got like over 180 stacks, and our troopers are doing like 300,000 damage on a basic ability. We're going to roll the footage. Hopefully, you guys get as much of a kick out of it as we did during the stream. And man, I just can't wait to see what 2021 is going to bring the Moff Gideon. I highly suspect we're going to get more troopers. So we could see some more power come out of Moff Gideon, and he's already looking to be an extremely fun character. <laughs> Trick to all of it is just making, hoping the Ewoks spread the damage around and not focus fire on a single person. I can almost guarantee you, I played the RNG like 20 times until it finally came to me. Because eventually, it's like, see, we're gonna get a little bit of Terminator right there. And see, they're gonna, there's so much preloaded turn, but see, luckily, Piet gets a couple of counters. Wow. Okay, so far, this has worked out pretty well okay well <laughs> rng this is my favorite so to trick the challenge tier three don't have a pre-taunting tank because they just kill out the tank way too quickly like sherry the short trooper and the hope is they'll hit piet and he'll counter attack feeding emperor's trap remember each buff pushes general veers lead a little bit quicker so we can get uh get get, get our turns rolling here so what i'll do now is it looks like we should have the turn meter situation under control. So what I'll do is I'll throw this over. Um, I don't like forcing taunts. I don't like forcing taunts because they're gonna, oh, we'll do it, we'll do it, let's do it. We'll go ahead, all right, my gosh, yeah, that may have been a bad play on our part. Uh, see, we don't really need to remove turn meter right now. All right, we'll do it, let's go. We'll move some turn meter back. There we go. It's like, that's what I do not want. How is it, how is this possible? I pulled back their, oh, get him out. All right, there we go. We're getting the Terminator train rolling. Uh, maybe Moff Gideon was kind of helpful here. I mean, this is our first try doing this right now. Let's go ahead and um, this basic do much. Uh, all right, let's do, let's do, let's just get the armor shred going. There we go. Let's come on, give me some more turns. Let's feed some more buffs, scoping out the haters, stomp on the ground. All right, well, that worked out pretty well so far. That worked out pretty well. Let's do our basic. Start going. You know what? I think Moff Gideon might be helpful. If he gets that demoralized out there, we should be reducing their amount of damage pretty drastically. All right, let's go ahead and uh, do our AOE right here. We just got to keep the train rolling. I think what we're going to want to do is try to make sure Moth getting has control of the situation when we get into Tier 3, because Tier 3 is where the big problem lies. Come on, get him out. Almost there. There we go. Beautiful. All right, let's keep the buffs flowing strong. It looks like we're at full, full protection and health right now, which is fantastic. Keep using basic, keep using basic, scoping out the haters, keep pushing the terminator along, stomping on the ground with Randy the Pimp Trooper. We're just gonna do basics. The attacks on the turns are incredibly important. All right. So far, this is going a lot. I was expecting to have to run this several times at Mop Gideon demoralized and Piet getting the right RNG to get the Emperor's Trap rolling. We're looking. Gucci, yeah. Mop Gideon's doing great work. The demoralize is reducing because they have. These guys have massive preloaded Terminator, and they got massive amounts of damage. And this Demoralize is reducing their offense by 
as well as reducing your critical chance and critical damage. So now I just, I feel like it's a bad call for me to do this because of how this, because remember we did this and they, we gave the enemy a chance to outrun us. You know what we're going to do? We're going to save this. I don't feel like we need it right now. Uh, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to do it. <laughs> yes. But watch. Okay. All right. That doesn't count because we got the Terminator. We're rolling again. All right. So far, so good. Get him out. Good stuff. Keep the Emperor's trap running strongest keep oh wow i'll be very surprised if mobkins can help us one shot this year hold on uh just keep getting let's just keep the buffs going a little bit overkill just the basic Woo! looking good looking good all right we're gonna scope out the haters yet again let's make sure we have control the situation ready for the next round Ooh, i can't you know let's just do this first let's get him out of here all right, three more turns for control the situation. Oh boy, we're killing them off a little too quickly. And we used our mass swarm. Just do basics, do basics. Basics, I probably should go after this guy actually. Anyways, just do that. Here we go, basic. Come on, Moff Gideon. Uh, oh boy, we're doing this a little too. Ooh, I didn't want to do the mass swarm. I don't like this right now. We're oh, we're overkilling it, master. Come on, take it easy, take it easy, take it easy. <laughs> the Empire never takes it easy on our foes. We have control. All right, control the situation. We'll be ready. Uh, you know what? Oh, I right, just do basics. Don't kill him off. Don't kill. No, 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 no. Just do basics here. You oh, boy. Don't. Uh, we're not going to have the mass swarm ready from beers. All right. Well, <laughs> all right. Let's see how this rolls here. Um, all right. Oh, boy. I don't remember how normally I have Derek in here for the death mark. Uh, but let's just kind of see what happens here. We're going to go ahead. Scope out the haters. Oh, boy, I need the mass storm right there. But luckily, it looks like we're going to be okay. Should we reset the Terminator? You know what? Screw it. We're going to do it. Yeah! There! Holy cow! Moff! I was a bit worried about this. It's so far as looking like it's working in our favor. We have offense up. Let's just run basics. Let's get another Terminator train going here. Yeah, 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 yeah! Basics? Probably could have done armor shred here. That's fine. Wow! Okay, you know what? I'm glad we didn't end the stream because this is actually really cool. <laughs> Holy cow. I wasn't sure if Moff Gideon was going to be all that helpful here. Normally, I run Death Trooper here and then we get a Death Mark going and call it a day. And, but Moff Gideon, wow. This is actually working very well. Well, let's keep it rolling. Give me some offense up. Looking good. Uh, just too basic. You don't need to waste. You don't need to pull out your Dark Saber on these guys. You don't need to pull out a dark saber on these guys. They don't deserve to see the might of Mandalore in your hands, in your palms. Because let me tell you, and I don't care what planet you're on, there's nothing out of reach of our empire. Oh, God. I want to see. I'm hoping we don't. I'm hoping we just keep the Emperor's trap building up. The damage is like out of this world right now. Holy cow! Look at that, 293,000 damage. Holy cow, I'm just doing basics here. Keep giving me, keep giving me Terminator. Uh, I will get an armor shot in the Ewok Warriors. Those guys are a little thick. They're, they're worthy of seeing the Darksaber. They're worthy of seeing it. Scoping out the haters. Oh my gosh! Mob getting just pistol whipped this fool. Holy cow. My gosh, we're gonna have an Ewok barbecue as our post Sithmas party dinner here. Let's keep it rolling. 155 stacks. I feel like I want to play this on 1x right now. Hold on. Let's see. Can we stomp the Ewok Elder out of it? Let's see the damage here. 160. Oh, my gosh. Like, the, we did so much damage. They didn't even get a chance to let the others put damage out there. Two. This is challenge tier three, people. If you guys are late and just tuning in right now. We went into challenge tier three, just kind of, all right, we'll give it a shot with Moff Gideon. Like right out the gate, this is working immediately. Holy cow, just do basics still. Look at that, non-crit, and that's at 198,000. Oh, dude. It's music to my audio receptors. We're gonna, I don't even need to, no, just use that. Let's save our specials for next round. Holy cow. Can we crank up the gameplay noise? This is how. This is how, this is how episode six should have been. Whatever you guys saw, whatever George Lucas told you guys about the Empire losing at Endor, it's an absolute lie. It's a fiction and it's not poetry and it doesn't rhyme. Okay, let's just do this again. This has been working all right for us. I was a bit worried about it, 
Because I don't like pulling my... Holy cow. I'm putting it... I'm going to watch this. I'm one extra rest of the way. 256,000 damage with a glorifying dark saber. Wow. Oh, Piet and Mop get involved. This is so... <laughs> this is so much fun. Holy cow. Um... <laughs> Why am I even thinking right now? Why am I even bothered to waste the break? <laughs> All right, now you're just showing off, guys. Now you're just showing off. Oh my gosh. All right, let's see. Wait, wait, let's see the damage here. Let's see the damage here. Boom! Boom! Holy cow, people. Basically, just get him. Just get him on my face. Get him on my face. Get him on my face. Just... Look at this. We're getting through Poplu Escobar with massive. Can I just turn off the music for a second? I want to enjoy this last scream. Hey, actually, you know what? <laughs> hey, let's take a little visit over there. Let's, say, let's visit him real quick. Hey, Chief Chirpa. Hey, how does it feel? How does it feel? How does it feel, buddy? When plot armor isn't on your side. George Lucas isn't here to save you. The, the fairy, the, the fairy tale people and the, the little, the, the little tooth fairy and Santa Claus. No one's here to save you, Chief Chirpa. This is what happened on the Battle of Endor, baby. Oh boy, I'm walking on these guys. Please proceed, wrap this up. Holy cow. George Lucas and Star Wars lied to you. This deserves to be uploaded as its own video for the masses to see. Get on over here, everyone. No, no, we're, we're, we're waiting for the transition. <sighs> Do they even deserve to be looked in the eye on their final death? You know what, fine, I'll, I'll look him in the eye. I'll look him in the eye. Goodbye. Oh, wow. Someone called PETA. That's right, chat. Wow. That was a first attempt there. And Moff Gideon was crazy. Uh, I guess that control of the situation was a little bit more helpful. Because as you saw, the first wave had me a bit concerned. Because after control of the situation, we gave the Ewoks extra turns before us. But after that, once the demoralize was applied, man, there was just no turning back for them. I'll... I'll okay. If you guys want to see my mods, I'll quickly show them. This, the, this is more or less the same exact team I use to beat Sith Eternal Emperor. Uh, what I, I, we didn't use Derek in this situation, but really what you want to have, if you're using Moff Gideon, this, is, this shouldn't be anything new. We used them in Grand Arena today to easily take out Beskar Mandalorian. Put the fastest mod you have available for Moff Gideon. We gave him 359. We've kind of been pulling some speed away from a little bit to give to other teams, but 359 is still incredibly fast for PvP, for PvE, and then Piat. What really happened there is that Emperor's Trap Zeta being massively helpful. People always ask me, what are the Zetas I need for my Imperial Troopers? We started a movement and people been hopping on the Imperial Trooper train even before Sith Eternal was a thing in this game as requirements. If you want to make this work with Imperial Troopers, you must have the General Veer's aggressive tactician, unique ability Zeta. Here's the mods that we have right here. You don't even need the rest of the team to be fast. You really just need Piet and Moff Gideon to be the fastest ones on the team because then the buffs are going to keep moving you and the kills and Emperor's Trap constantly stacking pushes you with that extra turn meter and then Stark here I mean we have some decent speed on him as well but really you just need Piet to be the fastest person on your team and after you have that Veer Zeta the other almost almost must have is going to be the Emperor's Trap Zeta that uh, is almost just a, almost just as necessary as General Veer's these two characters alone will help you knock out challenge tiers, help you take out big teams in Grand Arena like Best Garmando, like uh, Darth Revan, and many other teams that we've shown over the past couple months. And then Stark is obviously helpful. And then, uh, boy, that was really all there is to it. Just constantly feeding buffs and ran a range trooper. Not amazing speeds on him. Again, you can have less than I have. You just need Piet and Moff Gideon to keep the, tro uh, the train rolling. Holy cow. All right, that was pretty impressive, guys. I'm so glad we did this together on stream because I wasn't expecting it to be as exciting. But Moff Gideon, man, uh, that controlled the situation and that demoralized, extremely helpful. This is the first PvE thing I found them helpful in. And I actually can't wait to try Moff Gideon out inside of Genosis Territory Battles. We have a Dark Side Genosis Territory Battles coming. And I'm really excited. After seeing this, I'm excited to decide to see how he's going to do in Genosis Territories. Wow! Long live the Empire! Give me the Oh!